Please note that these are just personal suggestions from a veteran secretary and are not in any way official or required. Use what you like and ignore the rest. In preparation for an election meeting, I like to create a dual purpose form. The registrars can use it to record attendance and dropped off ballots. Then the tellers can use the same list to record who votes in person, by post, or by absentee ballot, and to tally the votes. Encompass doesn't provide a report for this, so I'll walk you through what I do. First, we're going to create a form template. You only have to do this once, then you can reuse it for every election you ever organize. Open a new blank Excel spreadsheet. Start by putting column headers into it. Turn the text on its side for some of these headers. Click on one of the header cells, then click the orientation option in the ribbon menu and select Rotate Text Up. Once you've done that, you can grab the column sizing handle and make the field narrower without losing sight of the text. Let's add a second header row and merge some cells to group the ballot type fields together with a label. To merge cells, select them then find the Merge Cells menu item and click that. It's not necessary, but can make your spreadsheet prettier and easier to understand. Click on the Page Layout tab in the ribbon, then click the Print Titles button. Place your cursor in the Rows to Repeat at Top box and highlight your header rows. Excel will add the range to the box. These rows will now print at the top of each page of your form. Let's make the text in the header rows bold, then add all borders to the entire spreadsheet. To have the rows alternately shaded and unshaded, highlight the first row below the headers. On the Home tab, click the Fill Color button and select a shading color. While you're at it, Enter a 1 into the number column of the first row and a 2 in the second row. Highlight the top two rows below the headers, then drag the little square down your form until you've got plenty of rows for all the voters in your community and release your mouse button. The alternating format and the row numbers will propagate all the way down. Your awesome form template is ready. Save it somewhere and make a copy whenever you are preparing for a new election.